What we want to do is to protect people from burning and uh, even in the summer in overcast weather um, the radiation will still give potential for sunburn for people so we want people to be outdoors to be active in the gardens uh, at the weekends but make sure that they're not going to actually burn and uh, the trouble is with the unpredictable weather we have in the UK people may find that uh, they think it's going to be a cloudy day not to apply sunscreen but actually there's enough radiation at this time of year that can actually cause burning. Areas that uh, tend to be forgotten uh, when applying uh, sunscreen often are areas that are difficult to reach um, so across the backs um, back of the legs and uh, so we want people to try to encourage to cover areas that are going to be exposed during the day and one of the easiest ways to do that is uh, to apply the sunscreen before you actually leave home so you can cover all areas thoroughly. I appreciate it can be very difficult trying to find uh, uh, sunscreen and to apply that to children. As a father of four, uh, every morning I line up the four children by the back door and we apply the sunscreen to them. And so you've got to find a product that's going to give uh, long lasting protection, uh, is easy to apply and, and children actually uh, are happy to take. So uh, a product such as P20 we find works really well for us. If people want to achieve a suntan, it's very important to make sure that their skin is protected and they don't burn. So burning episodes will cause an acute change in the skin, will also cause the skin to peel. So we don't want people to burn. If you're going to holiday for a two week period, then using a high factor SPF 30 will allow your skin to not only be protected, but also it will probably develop some color. But it's also too important that, important to note that some people will not color the skin. So people who are very fair skinned, freckly, they may not get any color and a tan. So therefore, they'll be using the sunscreen as a way to protect the skin rather than as a way of trying to seek a tan. It can get quite complicated uh, when talking about uh, sun protection when we talk about ultraviolet radiation, ultraviolet A, ultraviolet B, and also SPFs. Ultraviolet A uh, is the, the wavelength of radiation that typically causes aging in the skin. Ultraviolet B, more likely to cause burning. So a simple way to remember them, UVA for aging, UVB for burning. So we want to protect people against both of those. So to protect against the influence of UV on the skin, we'd like to use sunscreens. So sunscreens with uh, protection within will uh, able to uh, reduce the potential for burning and the other sun damage episodes. So SPF is sun protection factor. And the higher the SPF, the greater protection, particularly against burning. So SPF relates to protecting against UVB, so it's protecting against the burning. Whereas S, uh, if you want to protect against UVA, you must make sure that your sunscreen is a broad spectrum sunscreen. Uh, it may have a star rating on the back as well. Um, so that's what we'd, we'd like to see people use is a, a sunscreen product that will protect both UVA and UVB. Information on sunscreen products uh, is available on the internet. Uh, P20 have a very good website which is p20.co.uk which gives lots of very good information about how to apply sunscreen, how to protect yourself whilst at the same time having a healthy outdoor lifestyle.